Today, I'm gonna show you how to quickly start watching live TV and local channels on a Fire TV stick or Fire TV Cube. A number of free and subscription services can also be incorporated into the live TV guide, which I'll show you how to set up. I'm Jim Kimball, editor of cordcuttingreport.com, where TV viewers come to get the most out of their hardware and streaming services. I'm covering both streaming services and how to get local channels with or without a TV antenna. So let's jump right in. IMDB TV is Amazon's own free streaming service and it now has about 48 live TV channels. You don't need an Amazon Prime account. My favorite channels are the Crime 360 channel for episodes of the first 48. The Forensic Files channel, the Unsolved Mysteries channel are also great. I love the Doctor Who Classic channel. America's Test Kitchen and BBC Food are pretty good too. This service also has a big library of movies and TV shows, which are ad supported, but otherwise free to watch. Tubi has been getting into the live TV game over the past year, and it now has about 80 live TV channels you can watch. For college football fans, there's Pac-12 Insider, the ACC Digital Network, and a Fox Sports Digital channel. The news section covers 24 of the top 25 markets in the US. Those streams include both live and pre-recorded shows. And of course, Tubi has a massive library of movies and TV shows from networks such as a &E, Fox, and Lifetime. Here's one that you might not know. You can add the Roku channel to your Fire TV stick and it doesn't require any funky side loading or weird tricks that you have to do. It's available within the Fire TV app store and once you download it, you have access to the 200 live TV channels. There's sports highlights, music videos, weather reports, with the Roku channel on your Fire TV stick, you'll also have access to its entire movie and TV library and the fairly new Roku original section, which has short form thrillers, comedies, and dramas. Okay, so now let's cover how to watch local broadcast channels such as CBS, PBS, ABC, NBC, and Fox for free, and then I'll dive into some cheaper subscription options. By the way, if this video is helping you out, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons right now and help me grow this channel. So the PBS app does have a subscription tier called PBS Passport, but you don't need that to live stream your local PBS channel. All you have to do is download the PBS app and activate it with a Google or Facebook account. In the left hand corner, you'll see the live TV tab. Most of the time, this is going to be the same channel you would get with a TV antenna or a local cable TV package. You'll notice there's a little note on the screen here that says the live stream may follow a different schedule than your local on air broadcast. I've checked this a couple times with the PBS station that I get on my TV antenna and for me personally, it's been the same channel. Even without paying for PBS, there are still hundreds of hours of shows and programs that you may want to watch from that channel. In fact, PBS says on its own website that for newer programs, they retain streaming rights for about two weeks before it moves over to PBS Passport. News On carries 275 local TV stations in more than 165 markets. I use this service pretty much every day just to catch up on a quick weather report or to find out what's happening around where I live. Let's cover TV antennas real quick. The right TV antenna can get you channels such as CBS, PBS, NBC, ABC, and Fox for free if you live within the range of broadcast towers. I like using websites like rabbitears.info to determine how likely it is that I can get local channels 
channels with an antenna. You can plug your TV antenna into the back of your television and scan for channels, and that'll get your free local channels directly to your TV. If you want to get those free channels on a Fire TV device and into this integrated menu, then you're going to need a Fire TV recast. The recast is an over-the-air DVR made by Amazon. It also lets you watch live TV and recorded shows on your smartphones and tablets, and even lets you watch live TV and recordings outside of your home. If you're interested in learning more about that, I encourage you to check out my other videos about over-the-air DVRs, including the recast, and one of my recent videos on setting up an outdoor TV antenna on my roof. In both of those videos, I break down the setups and how they work step by step. Moving on to some low cost subscriptions. Paramount Plus combines live TV feeds from local CBS stations and a library of movies and TV shows from some of its popular channels owned by Viacom CBS. It's a pretty good deal for $4.99 a month. Its library of movies and new shows come from CBS, BET, Comedy Central, MTV, Nickelodeon, and Smithsonian Channel. It's the cheapest way to watch new episodes of The Equalizer and other popular shows on CBS. You can watch live NFL games on Paramount Plus every Sunday. There's also college basketball, college football, and soccer games. If you want a cheap way to watch 60 Minutes, or the CBS Evening News, this is the best way to do it. Paramount Plus has a library of new movies and some classics such as Interstellar. Last year, parent company Viacom CBS announced that it would have new movies between 30 and 45 days after they were released in theaters. So if you want an inexpensive service that has a rotation of newer movies coming in, Paramount Plus might be a good deal for you. You can sign up for a free trial of Paramount Plus using one of my affiliate links below. So there are a couple more live TV bundles that are on the low cost sides. If you're looking for a way to stream sports channels such as ESPN, then Sling TV is definitely worth checking out. Plans start at $35 a month. There are two main channel bundles. The Orange Plan has a little over 30 channels and costs $35 a month. It has channels such as ESPN, AMC, and TNT. The Sling Blue Channel Bundle has about 45 channels. It has NFL Network and FS1. That also costs $35 a month. All Sling TV subscribers also get 50 hours of cloud DVR to record TV shows, movies, and sporting events. I'll leave links to Sling TV below if you want to check out the channel lineup. If you don't care anything about sports channels or local channels, but you want to be able to watch a new show live when it's on the History Channel or HGTV, then you should definitely check out Philo. Philo costs $25 a month and you get 60 live TV channels. You get networks such as A&E, AMC, Animal Planet, BBC America, Discovery, all three Hallmark channels, and subscribers get unlimited cloud DVR. So once you pick and choose your free or subscription streaming services, the neat thing about Fire TV Sticks and Fire TV Cubes is you can now incorporate a number of these services into your live TV tab. And if you have a newer remote control for Fire TV, you also have a live TV button so you can quickly get to your live TV menu. So head over to your settings wheel at the end of the menu, scroll down, click on the live TV tab. You want to head down to sync sources and then just click on whatever service you'd like to have in your live TV tab. As you can see, there's a number of subscription and free services. Here's Tubi. Here's the new section by Fire TV that I mentioned. Sling, YouTube TV, Pluto TV, IMDB TV. And here's my over-the-air channels coming in off the Fire TV recast. And now they're all integrated into one menu. When you click on the hamburger icon on your remote control, you can also start to filter your channels and quickly jump down to a service that you're subscribed to. When you click on that hamburger icon and, and select manage channels, 
You can customize the menu by adding favorite channels or removing ones that you don't want to see. There are some honorable mentions that I've covered a number of times in the past that I still think are great options for free live TV. Those include Pluto TV, Haystack News, and Plex. So be sure to add those to your list of apps so you can start watching all the free live TV that's available on your Fire TV stick or Fire TV cube. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. And let me know in the comments below what apps that you're using right now on your Fire TV device. I'm curious to hear what you're doing. Again, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with others if you think it's helpful. It really helps me grow this channel, and I'll see you next time.